as in, uh, in Namibia, for example, the number of Chinese people living here in the meantime is four times as much as, for example, the German uh, community. And in so far, it's not precisely the same what takes place all over the world. There are differences. And what I'm... Mr. Speaker, yeah. what is your problem with that? Why does it become your problem? <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it's a more European problem than our problem. Yeah. We are so sorry for us. <laughs> I don't see... Chinese will never come and play around here. As Germans don't allow to do that. Which Germans are doing, by the way. We talk about Chinese. We allow Germans to come offer visas here. Red carpet. Our people are harassed in Germany. Even diplomatic passport holders. In Germany. And you come in here, Germans come in here as they want. So why Chinese talk about Germans? How we are treating us there? Chinese don't treat us like that. Diplomatic passport holders. We're coming back from, from Geneva. These people were held up at the airport. Just now, last week, in Germany. We know what we will handle our own country. Don't be sorry for us. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Every time Westerner comes, it's about Chinese. <laughs> what is the problem? In Namibia, everyone knows Chinese. Did you tell Western Namibia himself, Chinese have overtaken Namibia? Not in my, on my watch. No. I told Chinese ambassador, yeah, I'm not your puppet. It was in place everywhere. He so said, please, respect us. That's all I would say. It shows disrespect that we are children who are going to be missed. Uh, Joel by Chinese or so? No. Chinese are coming in infrastructure they were all over Africa. And I saw in America, they are there. Who bailed Americans out from the financial crisis? Chinese money is there. So why? <laughs> Small Namibia, who fought Germans, even Germans were fighting with you. We are tough people. 